All right, guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, this sweet foldable right here, showing the one, two, three, four organic molecules. Uh, it's not going to be too bad. The name of the game today is glue and skizzers. Woo! I'd recommend a glue stick. So to get this, first thing you'll need is a nice delicious piece of uh, construction paper. You're going to use these blank pieces of paper and you'll notice that it fits over there just really nicely. The construction paper uh, just makes it a little more, you know, supportive, a little less falling apart. Make it last longer so you can use it as good studded material for your next test. So you'll take the glue stick and I like the box with an X technique. If you're using glue glue, make sure you don't put on crap tons because it'll squeeze all out the edge. Remember, glue uh, really just works one molecule to one molecule, so getting excessive amounts of glue on there will not help it stick any better. Try your best to get it, you know, on there so it doesn't look crappy, and just press it down. It shouldn't be overlapping the edges because then I'll get stuck on stuff, and then uh, I will be grumpy. Next. You have this, which has your four organic molecules. You'll notice on the black lines, the solid lines, you're going to be cutting, and on these dotted lines, you will be folding. I'd actually recommend folding a little bit below the dotted line, uh, just below the edge of the picture. So, we cut with the scissors. Cut, cut, cut. Yay. We make sure you're cutting on the solid line, not the dotted line. That way you can see the name of your organic molecule right there. Uh, your body is basically made out of cells, right? But these cells are made out of these four different types of organic molecules. Uh, pretty much every living thing is made out of these four organic molecules. Right? It's like really how you have cells. You can break them down into like those different molecules. You know, all living things, all your cells, they're made out of these molecules. Now, a lot of these are uh, considered to be nutritional items, and that's because you need a certain amount of these uh, to make more you. And that's one of those reasons why you need that balanced diet or whatever, because you need a certain proportion of each of these, otherwise you're not going to be able to get enough food. So, that's why you need to eat. So we got these cut out, and for the most part they look uh, pretty good. Go ahead, uh, see how these two are a little bit bigger, and these two are a little bit smaller. Uh, that is so that these two can go on top, so we'll put, you know, carbs, lipids, and then we'll do uh, proteins here and nucleic acids there. Now you'll notice on the already done one, notice how you can flip up these tabs and there can be things written on them, like that's really important. So you'll notice here that this tab to make this was glued on the underside. It's glued on the part where it says glue carbohydrate here, right? So what you're going to do to make these anchor down, you'll take them and you're going to fold each one where it says fold here. And again, I'd go a little bit lower so you get a good anchor tab. And try your best to, unlike that one, do it pretty much nice and straight. If you do uh, thumb creases, that'll work fairly well and you can sort of adjust it as needed. Take your glue stick, and this is where glue stick is really nice, just whoosh, and then open up your tab here and just put it down real nicely like that. I like to put it up towards the top of the paper. That way you've got room to label these organic molecules under. The reason why you want to label them under like on this one is so when you flip it up you can still see, oh, this is carbohydrates. So you just take these, give them a little foldy foldy, and hopefully yours will glue down in a little bit nicer fashion than mine. So, it, you know, it looks nice and purty and won't drive the anal retentive kids all crazy like. So fold and glue and flip won't stick and try your best to make it kind of, you know, flattish. It's all nice and even. And fold like acids, they're going to go here, flip, glue, and stick her down, make sure we have enough room to label underneath, flippy flippy, floppy whoppy, 
And same thing here. Fold below. And see how I keep folding below the fold here line? That's probably how you want to do it. That line should be down farther. But uh, the editing program for Office won't let me put the line down farther because then it cuts off the images. And then Office uh, throws a little baby fit. So there those are. Goody, goody. Gumdrop shoes. Nice and crooked. This one's driving me crazy. And this one's not the same level. But that is the general idea. Now I'm going to use uh, Sharpie just so it shows up better on the camera. Use pen, pencil, whatever. These are carbohydrates right here. So you probably want to do I like to do little arrows, that way you can remember that, you know, carbohydrates. These are lipids. Up here. These over here are proteins. E, I, N, S. Little arrow, little arrow. And these right here are nucleic acids like uh, deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. Now your foldable is ready to go. The general scheme for these foldables up here, you're going to be saying what it's made out of, uh, you know, the molecule, uh, elements, uh, shape of the molecule, that sort of thing, right? Uh, stuff about its physical structure and then down here uh, you're going to be uh, listing their importance their function of the role they play in the body and we'll go through those uh, in class together in lecture form yay foldable